Welcome back, everyone. This is Dan DNG from the University of Colorado. In our last videos, we got this um, DC motor hooked up because we're going through the Arduino Motion Workshop. Um, in this video, we're going to get a servo hooked up. So why don't we go back to Tinkercad? Yeah, we're going to get a new servo. So servo motor control. Um, and a servo is just a motor with feedback. It's just able to um, really control. Uh oh. Come on, Tinkercad, come back. It's really able to give us um, precise control. There we go. Oh, it might be a little slow. Ah, there we go. So you can see it was already getting started with it. Let's delete everything. Let's start from start from scratch. So start with a new Arduino. Yep, hit OK. Um, so give ourselves an Arduino. Here we go. Give ourselves some breadboard. Take a it's going slow. If you hit R, so you can go over here and rotate, but if you hit R, it rotates for you. All right. So I give ourselves a breadboard, but we don't really need that. So we can grab a servo. And I like this little micro servo right here because it's got red, black, and white wires. So red, red are our powers and for our five volt servo. It's okay to connect that to five volts. And then our ground. Our ground is our black wires. So we can plug that directly in there, call that black. And for servos, we have pins nine and 10. There we go, and let's make that white. Why not? There we go. So now our servo is hooked up. And maybe we can make it look better if we do that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, there we go. Just kind of clean things up a little bit. So we have white to white, red to red, black to black. And so yeah, these servos are typically five volts. There we go. So now how do we use a servo? Well, the trick is in code. So here's this blocks thing, see ya. Um, and we don't want to blink. What we want to do is use our servo. And so the nice thing is we've gone through this before. So the first thing we have to do is go to the library. And what that looks like is include servo.h. And if you actually look in Tinkercad, they have libraries. Um, do, 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 it's right here. Libraries. So yeah, you can look and you can say include servo if you forgot. But yeah, they actually have some really cool um, libraries. So use those as you will. And once you go to the library, you can find something as a library. So I'll call it servo. I'll call this servo one. So now in setup, what I want to do is attach servo one. Servo one dot attach. And the pin that I have it attached to, let's call it pin nine. So now in void loop, I get to control the servo. I can say servo one dot right, and I can say 180. And it's always good to have a little delay. Let's call it 400, give it time to get there. Let's give it a try, see if it works. Goes to that, and then it stays there. And I can't grab it, but if I could, I, it would fight me. Um, and you also can see that it doesn't quite get to 180. So that's pretty realistic. So now I do servo one dot right zero. Let's see if you can get there at delay. And let's give it a full second. This doesn't seem like the fastest servo in the world. There we go. Start simulation. Well, need more than a second. Let's give it two seconds to get there. So yeah, you always want to give it some time to get there. So it goes up. All right, not quite to 180, not quite back. So 
looks. Stop simulation. Looks like this one is going to be 165. All right. So that's very similar to what we had before. Let's check out the other servo, see if that works any better. So try this micro servo. The only issue is this one is hard to tell which is which. So we have, in this one, we have signal is orange, power is red, and ground. Okay, so, um, but now we have one wire and we need it to go to two servos. So we'll have to go to that rail. So I'm just gonna bring this over to the rail. I'm gonna bring this one over to the other rail. Get it completely in place. There we go. Clean things up just a little bit. Make our life a little easier. There we go. So now, I'm going to go back. We want to get power going to both of these servos. the way I wanted to. Let's just bring this down a little bit. Bring that one down a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. Got a few more of those than I'd like. There we go. Cool. So now we go ground. We go ground, we go power. We definitely want to keep, there we go. We go pin nine, and that's going to be white. All right, so now let's make sure that one's still working. Yep, still works. Excellent. Now, this one we got to watch out because power is in. The middle and ground is on the right, and now our signal we're going to go into pin 10. I might as well keep the color orange. All right, so now we have two servos we have one controlled by pin 9, and then one controlled by pin 10. So we need to include servo. Servo two, and that's attached servo two. And let's make it go backwards. Servo two dot right zero. Servo two dot right one eighty. All right. Now the only issue is. Does our Arduino have enough power to get both of these servos going? So let's try it. It does. Cool. But let's say it didn't. What would we do? Well, we need five volts going to these servos, or nominally five volts going to those servos. What we could do is we could do, we can give ourselves a battery. We can give ourselves a one volt battery. And if we have four of those, that's six volts. And usually these servos are okay with that. And we can take what we learned 
I can go positive here. We can go negative there. And again, we're going to want to And so we have a common ground between our Arduino and the battery. And we have six volts going to our servos. Oh, and we just broke it. That's because the voltage is 5.5 and the maximum was five. So yeah, we'd always want to look at our servo data sheet to make sure that we're going and we have um yeah the ability to to hold the bible we can use this regulator so what this regulator does is it takes in some voltage and it outputs five volts does it tell us that's out, ground, in? So in this case, what we can do is again, we don't want to break our servos. And so we have our output. We'll have that going to our rail. We have our ground. Going there. And then we have our input going to our battery. And then we want to have that common ground. Black. And so that's a five volt regulator. And so that means that what's coming out of our regulator is five volts. So when we start the simulation. And now our problem is we're not moving because these regulators often need seven volts. So we'll hit stop. We'll delete that. And now we'll do our last thing, which is a nine volt. Battery, 9V battery. There we go. And now, we have our positive going to our input. And then we always want to have that common ground. Black. And we'll see if this one works. Zoom in a little bit. Start simulation. Hey, look at that. Whoop. There we go. All right, so some tricks and nuances with servos. Um, yeah, we made it a little harder than it had to be. Again, we can delete these. And with the Arduino, it could run both of these micro servos directly off of the five volt pin. But as you start getting away from micro servos and into bigger servos, you're going to want to power it with those voltage regulators. They are really, um, really useful. So there we go. Goes to zero and flips back, goes the other way. Goes to zero, flips back, goes the other way. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little something. And um, yeah, I will see you in our next video.